thought that was that was kind of cute. Really good friend. No, you know what? If I'm a hundred percent honest, when I when it comes to Billy, after watching the episode again and just taking this all in and having another chance to really think about the things that I said in this video, yeah, fuck that guy. Billy huh? really sucked. I, I I'm doubling down. This was this this is proof. This is no, this sucked. No, I still don't like Billy. <laughs> I will say it's no. not as much on no. the character. No, 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 no. I'm not gonna accept this slander on William's name. No, no. You're not gonna give him a chance, so I will. The community has hated him, but I don't. I don't. I've always wanted to pretty much talk about how I felt about this episode because I've seen people hate this episode and hate the character Billy. But I never really understood why. And okay, yeah, no, I get it. A lot of people love the first classic seasons of the show, and when the hit era started, it was just, you know, a lot of the fans were drawn away, and people were immediately drawn back in around the Brenner era. And yes, a lot of people admit that the hit era does have some gems, and honestly, this episode is one of them. And no, I don't mean because of the plot, I don't mean because of the eccentric storytelling, and I of course do not mean because of, I guess, characters. I mean, it's a great story because in the shoes of the audience, this is hilarious. But if you go into this episode with the idea of, I'm about to watch the title character pretty much go through the ringer in the most hilarious way possible, dealing with the show's newest character. A part of me feels like the writers of the show knew that Billy, he's annoying. They gave him buck teeth, a weird voice. You are a very, very bossy engine. Question my existence, will you? And an obnoxiously bright orange livery. If that doesn't scream intentionally annoying, I don't know what does. The episode starts off like every other Hit Era episode and, you know, introducing the island, the characters, the trains, and whatever the heck they do. And Thomas comes into the docks. Thomas then announces to Salty and by extension the audience that he has to look after a new engine. Psst, you know, cause that's just something Thomas does, I guess. Billy pulls up and immediately Sir Top Hat runs down the fact that Billy's got a busy day ahead of him and Billy is really compliant. But the moment Thomas jumps in and is like, all right, let's get to work, Billy is like, if you don't shut the fuck and just steams away. Hi, how are you? He, he's like, whatever, I'm gonna go follow this guy. So, you know, the next scene, Thomas finds Billy at the farm and Billy's like, yo, I'm ready to get to work. Hooks himself up to the chicken coop cars. I don't even know what the hell they're called. He's about to be putting in the work, but Thomas knows if he puts in the work, he's about to waste all of his coal and water. So he's like, yo, Fuel up, and Billy's like, shut the f and steams away, and both Thomas and Farmer McCall, they're both like, yo, what the hell is wrong with you guy? What, what's wrong with this guy? At this point, Thomas is rather annoyed, and rightfully so. Now, my thing is, I, I sit here and wonder, Thomas knows he's supposed to be looking after Billy, but does Billy know that Thomas is supposed to be looking after him? I feel like he doesn't because he wouldn't be acting this way, but at the same time, it makes it even funnier if he knows that, yo, Thomas is supposed to be looking after him and he's like, fuck you. Thomas then gives Billy the heads up like, yo, you, you still have no coal and water, which again, you traveled miles and you're going to run out of fuel soon, my boy. So you might as well. You might as well fuel up. And of course, Billy somehow takes offense to this. And he's like, Thomas, look at me dead in my face. Look at me. Look at me now. I'm gonna tell you for the last time to shut the fuck. And he books it, he runs, Billy is gone, and Thomas is like, yo, what is wrong with this dude? <laughs> this is by far my favorite Thomas face ever. And again, Thomas races after Billy and finds him at the coaling plant. But of course, Percy is just standing there like an idiot and gets backed up, smacked, and dumped coal all over him. 
Thomas is like, dude, you gotta be careful next time, but whatever, let's go get some coal and water, you're about to run out of fuel. And you'll never guess what this bro Billy says. Billy looks Thomas, dead in the eyes, puts on the angriest face he could possibly make, and says with the deepest, growling voice, Thomas, I'm gonna need you to shut the fuck Thomas finally hit the boiling point and he was like, you know what? I, I give up. I give up. This is this this is too much for me. Go go do whatever the hell you want. You're not my problem anymore. Billy is of course ecstatic by this news and with zero hesitation books it. And this is the funniest part in the entire episode. He makes it a mere hundred yards and completely stops. <laughs> <laughs> Literally, so much so that they show Thomas looking at him in the distance on the other side of the yard, like, wow. And of course, like, really useful Thomas fashion, he says, I know you pretty much hurt my feelings for the entirety of today, but I'm still gonna help you out, and I'm gonna shunt you to get some coal and water. They do their jobs well, and the episode ends. But people don't like Billy because he's annoying. That's the point. That's hilarious. There are many characters in popular TV shows that are annoying and aren't supposed to be intentionally annoying, but are to me. Insert the entire cast of Friends and Full House. But then there's characters that are supposed to be annoying, like Patrick and Spinel and I guess SpongeBob too. <laughs> and they're funny. That's the point. Coming back to this fandom, I've seen that people have slanderized Billy's name and pretty much hated him, and he's only appeared in one episode. I've never seen so much hate for one character that's appeared for the mere seven minutes, not even. This is comedy gold in my opinion. This was a comedic episode, and I like Billy because of it. I really do.